don't even know what that is. <laughs> I used to use this on my dad's car all the time when I washed my dad's car when I was a kid. And I would get so grossed out because on the inside of the windows of his car there'd be this yellow film because he would smoke unfiltered cigarettes inside the car with the windows closed. And that's why he died of lung cancer. Oh, jeez. Well, I mean, can you imagine what your lungs look like if your windows look like that? That's why, right. that's why I quit smoking. Well, that and vanity, really. Let's face it, you wanted your skin to look better. <laughs>
In New York. In New York City. And then I get back, and then the Gays R Us show is Wednesday, May 7th. We met on a frisbee field outside the Abbey. I just moved to LA, and my friend Allie was like, come down and meet these group of girls. We're going we're gonna to play frisbee. So I was like, sweet. And I brought my roommate, Amber. So we thought we were going to just throw the frisbee around. But then when I got there, Mancini. <laughs> oh, we call Sarge. 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 Sarge shows up with cones. Yeah, and headbands and it's a serious situation. And she was like, "All right, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna break into two teams. Does everyone know the rules?" And Amber and I were like, "Oh, it's not like we're all the frisbee around." <laughs> and no, then, no, no, it's not no. like that at all. It was super competitive. Ultimate yeah. frisbee. It's ultimate frisbee, which is basically frisbee with a football with a frisbee. But then you add lesbians into the mix, and it's you know, it was like, <laughs> "All right." <laughs> Offense. And then you are my team, and you're so fun because you're so athletic that I just would, I didn't remember your name because I met 75 women in two seconds, <laughs> and uh, which is fun. And then, so I just, I kept calling you a gazelle, and all I did was take the frisbee and just kind of chuck it high in the air, and then we would see Kathy like a deer, <laughs> the gazelle just up in the air, and she would catch it, and you scored like 890 points. I had so Pretty much awesome. fun playing frisbee that summer. Do you remember when Summer ran straight into a tree? Yeah. Yeah. Summer was like, I got it! it was like and cartoon character, like, <laughs> straight into she a tree. Caught the frisbee. And she caught it. Did she hang on to and it? She hung on That's to it. That's all that matters. And then she was in my living room later with like a frozen corn on her knee and her feet and her head. And she was like, but I caught it. And by the end of that summer, I had blown the rotator cuff in my shoulder, bartending right. of all things. I was, bartending? I was bartending when I. You gotta I, come up with a better. Story. It's too late. I was aggressively cleaning margarita <laughs> glasses <laughs> and I blew my rotator cuff. Our first letter is from After Ellen viewer Faya, and we're going to have Aaron read it. Go for it, Aaron. And action! Whew. Okay, Fire. Let's see if we can get your figure this out. Do I read the whole thing? Uh -huh. or paraphrase? However you see fit. Kathy, hello. <laughs> Hope you are doing well. well that's nice. Fire. Wow. <laughs> Just start with a greeting. I figured I'd get right to my problem. Well, <laughs> good for you, Fire. I am one of those girls who is in love with her best friend. <laughs> Don't mock. She's in love with her best friend. The girl and I have been best friends for a few years, but she's also my ex. Oh, move on. Okay. When we dated, it was really strange because she wasn't completely sure of her sexuality. She's very religious and it conflicts with her sexuality. She has trouble accepting what I already know, that she's bisexual. Whenever I say something to allude to the fact that I have feelings for her, she tells me it makes her uncomfortable. Yet she spends half the time we're talking, flirting with me and telling me that she loves me. She keeps saying she's not a lesbian over and over. I love you, I love you, I'm not a lesbian, I'm not a lesbian, I'm not a lesbian. I'm just trying to reenact it. Thank you. Okay. I try to explain to her it's okay, she can be bisexual. She just doesn't get that you can like girls and guys at the same time. And now for the major drama in my life. Oh wow, okay, there's more. Two days ago, her boyfriend died. Oh no. It was completely unexpected and he was very young. He went, f this is sad. I'm a comedian, I don't know what to do at sad moments. You're doing fine. It was completely unexpected and he was very young. He went under cardiac arrest and they couldn't save him. It's very awkward for me because I never met him. Lower the paper, and I feel really <laughs> guilty for having feelings for her, especially now that he's gone. Part of me has always been jealous of him. I feel horrible for being jealous. Now she's asked me to come with her to his viewing. I agreed to do so only because I care about her, but I am very freaked out. I am so scared about saying the wrong thing, and I'm trying to put my feelings for her into the back of my mind because they shouldn't be relevant right now. I don't really have a specific question. I just want to know your opinion on my situation and what I should do. If you've ever found yourself in a similar situation. Well, obviously it's a uh, quite a pickle. Quite a, your, you said something where it says your feelings shouldn't be relevant right now. 